Hello! It's me, Kyle of Give Pause Hobby. I'm here with another video of the Electric Eerie. Now, this isn't going to be a big, exhaustive uh, thing about how exactly all the actions work. Um, it's just going to be me narrating you through a turn where I'm piloting the faction. Um, let's say I was taking my turn, or the other bots had taken their turn, and it's back to the birds, and now this is going to be my thought process on how to run the faction. Again, the Big Brother episode is up here in the corner somewhere, so if you haven't watched this, I would highly suggest you watch that first, unless you're really familiar with Root, in which case maybe this shorter video is all you need. Um, it's just me kind of walking you through how the player board works. So without any further ado, let's pilot the Electric Eerie. Again, up at the top, like with the cats, Pay attention to the berry powers. Lords of the Forest, hate surprises, poor manual dexterity. Those are important. Make sure they're in the play. Uh, next up, Birdsong. Reveal an order card. Craft an order card for one victory point if it has an available item. If it is a uh, craftable ability, ignore it. If it's not craftable, ignore it, except paying attention to the suit. Third, if bird, bird song, you're going to add the order card to the matching decree column. So from left to right, you have fox, mouse, rabbit, and bird columns, which are different from the human eerie board because those are the action columns. Um, so you're going to tuck that in behind whatever else is there, and that's part of your decree. Daylight, you're going to resolve the decree. Recruit for each column with at least one card from left to right, then move in that way, then battle in that way. So you're going to... Uh, take care of each action at a time in the four different suits, at least for the ones that have at least one card. So for recruit, it's pretty easy. You're gonna recruit warriors equal to the cards in the column in a matching clearing with a roost. There are ties there, uh, or rather tie breakers. Make sure you pay attention. So you're gonna do that for all four columns. Move to move. From the matching clearing you rule with the most eerie warriors, move to an adjacent clearing with no roost. If all of them have a roost, move to one of the fewest enemy pieces. Leave warriors ig uh, to exactly rule the origin clearing or equal to the cards in the column, whichever is higher. So importantly, no matter how many cards you get in the column, you're only ever going to move once. Um, and the more cards you have in the column, the more warriors you need to leave behind. You either need to rule the clearing you leave, or you need to leave behind the number that are in the column, whichever is more. And then there are some more tiebreakers for destination. Third up, battle. After you've moved in all four of those columns, you're going to battle in a matching clearing, in one matching clearing for each column. The defender is the player with the most buildings, including zero. If this column has the most cards, deal one extra hit. Now, if there are cards or columns that are tied for most, that is not, n no column is the most. Um, they have broken that little rule. So there has to be a column that is above and beyond all the rest of them in order for that column to get the extra hit. Um, then there are tiebreakers for the clearing. If there are multiple places where battles can take place, there's also tiebreakers for the defender if there are multiple enemies in the clearing. Second in daylight, so you're going to resolve all three of those actions for all four of the columns. And only once you've done that, you're going to build. Place a roost in the clearing you rule of highest priority with no roost. If you cannot place a roost, you fall into turmoil. Now this is the only place that the electric eerie can fall into turmoil. They are not like the human birds that can turmoil at any of the given actions. It has to be during the build step. It's the only time it can happen. Let's talk about that real quick. Over on the right, turmoil. If you can't place a roost, first, humiliate. Lose one victory point per bird card on the decree. Second, purge. Discard the decree except the viziers. Third, rest. Go to evening. Now, most of the time, resting is the next step anyways. Evening is coming up next. However, there is one trait card that allows this to happen earlier. That's why that rule is there. So speaking of evening, you're going to score victory points listed on the rightmost empty space of the roost track. So they start with one roost on the board, which gets them nothing. Um, but the second roost gets them one, and they go up from there by one victory point. So if you have all six roosts, or all uh, seven roosts down on the board, they get six victory points. And that's the Electric Eerie. Um, again, if you want more detail on any of those actions, there is the Big Brother episode where I go over all of those in pretty exhaustive detail. I think this that was the, one of the longer of the episodes. Um, but if you're pretty familiar with the game or you want to test your knowledge after watching that longer video, hopefully this is a helpful way just to 
uh, give you an idea of the streamlined thought process when it's actually your turn to pilot it rather than me just wax poetic about the faction. In any case, thanks for taking a pause with Give Pause, and I will see you next time.